Hey, and welcome to the lecture. Before we jump into the learning, just a quick reminder to check out the workbooks available on modernoptician.com through the Ultimate Apprentice Optician Study Guide or available on Amazon worldwide. It's the best way to accompany this lecture so that you can fill in the blanks, label the diagrams, do everything all concurrently and elevate your training to the next level. All the links to the workbooks and the website are all in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. Other than that, enjoy today's lesson. All right, so now that we understand how curvature works, it's time to start looking at how this curvature that we've kind of studied is going to affect light. So we're going to talk about focal points, focal distances, and the concept of vergence. Very, very important concepts to understand how lenses work. OK, so uh, if you know, <clears throat> if you're not fully understanding this concept of curvature, I want you to go back to the, the previous lecture, really understand this concept because we're going to go over it again. But maybe this one will help you understand how this applies to what we do. OK, so hang with me here and let's kind of go through this and understand things. And I'm, I might take little pauses through this to kind of explain concepts in a little bit more detail so that we can really, really you know, grasp. All right, so first off, for a source at infinity, okay, so when, when I say source at infinity, I mean an object, all right, at infinity meaning far away, all right, the, sp the specific point at which an image will be focused, it's known as the secondary principal focus of a lens. So in a form of a diagram, um, and again, I suck at drawing lenses with this pen, but this is a lens, okay? So at a source at infinity, so you have object O over here, right? Parallel rays of light bouncing off this guy. Again, we're, we're always going back to the principles we've learned along the way that you have parallel rays of light of reflected light from the object comes to the lens, okay? The point at which this lens creates a point focus here, that, that is exactly this the secondary principal focus of the lens okay now the distance from the lens to this point is called the secondary focal length okay so this is this point right here is the principal secondary principal focus okay so secondary two with a little uh degree symbol secondary secondary uh principal focus and then this distance between the lens and where it happens here is the principal focal, second, sorry, secondary focal length of the lens, okay? Just little concepts I want you to understand. Now, the principal focal point of a lens is the point at which the object may be displaced so that uh, it will form the in image at infinity. This could be a little bit confusing, right? So all this is saying is that the primary focal point is actually the opposite. So it's kind of like, where would you have to put uh, where would you have to have this point of the image so that it reproduced the image the other way around? Not really something we concern ourselves with all that much in ophthalmic optics. Uh, for that reason, which is the most important focal length for spectacle lenses? It is the second or secondary principal focus, the first one we talked about. Let's look at a few nicer diagrams here. So we have a plus lens. Now I want to talk about plus versus minus lenses. We're going to go into a lot of detail about this stuff. And I know, it's, you know, here's the thing is that when you're teaching this stuff, sometimes you got to jump ahead just to get into it, right? So I know we haven't talked in detail about plus versus minus lenses, and we are going to, but for the time being, bear with me, okay? So we have a plus lens that essentially you have these rays of light parallel coming in this way, right? And then they are refracting through the lens and they're coming here to this focal point. And when, when I talk about focal point and focal length, we're always talking about the one that we just said, the more important one, the secondary principal focus. Okay, so this is how a plus lens processes light. It converges light to a point, and you have here your focal point of the lens, and the distance between the lens and that focal point is the focal length. On a minus lens, it's a little bit more interesting um, and in this point, we're actually showing how light is diverging from a shorter point and it's bringing these, uh, these rays of light outwards. So um, again, we're going to have a little bit more of a detailed discussion about how this all works. But what I want you to understand here, 
the most important part is that a plus lens is going to converge rays of light, okay? And then a minus lens is going to diverge rays of light. This is gonna make a whole much more sense in a few moments here. However, the focal length and the focal point of a minus lens is actually in front, whereas the focal length and focal point of the plus lens is behind the lens, okay? Now, when we start getting into vision correction, I'm gonna teach you a way that makes this even more, uh, even easier to understand because we're gonna be talking about um, lenses, we're gonna talk about vision and lenses incorporated into vision as a total system of a whole bunch of lenses and the overall focal power is gonna be what we're more interested in as opposed to the specific focal points and focal powers of the lens per se. So bear with me for the time being, because some of this stuff could be a little bit of a mind warp. But for the time being, I want you to understand these diagrams that plus lenses and minus lenses have different effect on light. And they have different effect on the virgins, which we're about to talk about here. So the concept of virgins can be looked at, at a few different ways, right? So I've got a couple diagrams, and actually we've seen both of these diagrams before. However, I want you to understand what's happening here, right? So in this first diagram, we have the point source of light, right? So we've talked about light radiating out and it radiates, radiates out from the point source, which is at the center of uh, this candle flame. And then it goes outwards like this, right? So this is called divergence. So light is diverging, divergence, light is diverging out from the point source in all directions as a matter of fact um, all over the place right so if we go to this next diagram we could see same concept point source here it's diverging outwards now notice how as it's diverging we talked about this radius of curvature right before as it's diverging out the curvature is getting flatter and flatter and flatter a principle that i want you to understand is that as it gets flatter and flatter it approaches being parallel so the concept here is that it hits a point where it's parallel. And we could actually look at this mathematically because if we look at these, if we look at uh, this chart here where this is the distance from the point source as it goes out. And the concept here is that these dioptric values, right? This is the amount of curvature. So we could actually talk about curvature as being power as well. So this is something I want you to really understand. So the power of a lens, we talked about the diopter before, that is a unit of power. So the power of the lens, uh, in some cases here, we can look at as being equal to the reciprocal of its focal distance, all right? So if we look at this, right, over here, the radius is also the distance from the point source. So the, this is five, it's minus five. Um, well, let's stick with our minuses because we're diverging. So whenever you're diverging away, it's always minus, And if you're converging, it's plus. However, if you have minus 0.5 meters, if you were to do one divided by 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, it's equal to minus two. Okay, that's how these numbers are coming up, right? So this is a two diopter virgins, a minus two diopter virgins. So notice how as we get away close, further and further away from the point source, it's getting closer and closer to flatter. Notice how we're getting further and further away here, here, and here. We're going from one meter to five meters to 10 meters to a thousand meters. Look at the dioptric value here. It's getting closer and closer to zero. So there is no vergence to this, right? So the amount of, <clears throat> of movement, right? The amount of divergence or convergence, the amount of bending or you know, moving away from a point or coming to a point that is measured in diopters, just like all our powers are. And the further and further away we move from the point source, the less and less virgins there is. And then this essentially 0.001 diopters, we may as well call this parallel, okay? So this is the principles that we use to understand how light is being, how light is traveling through space. If you have light at zero diopters, zero diopters of virgins, that means it is perfectly parallel. If you have light that is, um, let's say, let's use this one, this example here, the two diopters. If you have plus two diopters of virgins, that means it's coming to a point at a pretty rapid pace. If you have uh, minus two diopters, it means it's coming away from a point at the same rate. Okay, so I hope you kind of understand this concept that 
um, the dioptric value of light has an has it relates to how it's moving through space. Okay, so this diagram here, we're going to see that we can understand this concept of where the image starts and where it ends. Right. So you have the point object, and you know, not that this is partic of particular importance, but may as well build on what we've talked about. We have this concept of this is the secondary uh, luminous source, right? Secondary source. And it is sending its light away. It's reflecting light away towards, let's say in this case, the lens. And we have divergence here, right? And then the divergence is proportional to the object distance, which actually ends up being F, which is the focal length of uh, that object, right, from the lens. Now, the lens, in this case, is a plus lens, and we know plus lens equals convergence. It is then taking those rays of light that are, in this case, not even parallel yet, they are diverging, and it's converging them back to an image. Now, where this happens, this image distance, which is its F, its focal length, is going to be proportional to the power of the lens. So capital F is the power is equal to one over little f. So these guys are all related to each other. So by knowing the power of the lens, we would know exactly where this object would form. Uh, conversely, by knowing where the object forms, we would then be able to calculate what the power is. Okay, that's a lot, I, I know. However, remember this is conceptual, but again, this is, it proves to, or serves to prove that by knowing powers, we can manipulate light exactly the way we want to, right? So here's a concept that I want you to understand. Uh, minus equals divergence and plus equals convergence. Very, very important. Another important concept, divergent light rays eventually become parallel, right? No vergence, we just talked about that. Right? As it gets further and further from the point source, it gets closer and closer to parallel. Now, plus lenses converge light, minus lenses diverge light. Very, very important concept. Um, it can be masked by a bunch of scary looking diagrams and numbers, but at the very base and very principle, if you understand these concepts, you're going to understand optics at the level that you need to. Right? We, we don't need to be uh, physicists, we need to be opticians and we need to understand the very basic principles behind this and, and numbers do matter. I don't want, I don't want to ins insinuate that numbers don't matter. Um, but for the time being, as we're learning, um, the concept is more important than the calculation to this point. And then when we get into calculations that are important, I will make sure to tell you. So just remember, plus lenses will converge, minus lenses will diverge. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, this concept is the most important concept we need to know for the optics of the eye, as well as the optics of the lenses in relation to the eye, okay? So what's the significance here? Well, don't let this stuff intimidate you. It's actually pretty simple, right? We just talked about, we just talked about in three sentences what you ultimately need to know about this. Light diverges from objects in our environment until it becomes parallel. Also a very important concept to remember. And parallel rays of light meet the eye and then are converged by the plus power of the visual system. We're gonna go into more detail about this very shortly. However, uh, important concept to remember that the eye, the eye is essentially a big plus lens or a series of plus lenses, okay? Keep that in the back of your mind, write that down. However, uh, we are gonna go into quite a bit more detail over that. Uh, plus and minus lenses are used to adjust the power to achieve a specific secondary principle focus, especially when it comes to vision correction, right? So if the eye is a big plus lens, depending on whether we have myopia or if we have hyperopia, all right, the plus or minus lenses, right, if we have a plus or we have a minus lens, can then be used to adjust the optics of the eye and reposition the principal focus and the principal focal length and everything we need to be able to get that image on the retina can then be adjusted with all the principles we just talked about. Cool, right? And this concept will help you understand how lenses correct vision, right? And if you don't understand how it works yet, that's okay because we will very, very shortly. So again, a lot of pretty scary, hairy information in here. Um, a lot of diagrams with a lot of numbers and a lot of stuff. But 
if you come back to this very basic principle here, it all starts to make sense and the numbers become less and less relevant in the concept. Where the numbers become relevant is when we're actually trying to achieve a specific you know, focal point. We're trying to correct vision in a very specific way. By the end of the day, all you're getting in, is going to be a prescription <clears throat> and you're going to be reproducing the prescription. And hey, I've seen it for years and years. You can literally not even know any of this stuff and still be effective at your job. What I'm trying to achieve here is giving you a more in-depth knowledge so that at least this stuff makes sense as it's happening. Because at the end of the day, the more you understand, the better you're going to be. And when it comes, when things break apart, you start having to troubleshoot and starting to figure out why things aren't working, you are going to fall back on some of this knowledge to be able to kind of like discern where the problem is and be able to solve it. All right. So we've done quite a bit on this. I think it's time to move on. Take your notes, look back, study it, understand it, and I'll meet you in the next one.